and welcome to Body of Christ Ministries. We're not a denomination. We're the Body of Christ. I'm Brother Glover, and I want to thank you for tuning in. Um, for week 16, I felt led to do a new three-part mini-series entitled Overcoming the Flesh and the Demonic. This is an area I believe God is thrusting me into. It's been weighing on me to the point I had a dream about it, and um, I'll share that dream specifically in part two next week of this mini-series. But this first part is going to be more thought-provoking, and then the next two weeks will be a little heavier. But for a subtitle, the Lord gave me, if devils can get a prayer answered, and then I got three periods indicating ongoing. So in other words, you can add to this phrase or to the rest of the sentence or or I like to put it this way, if devils or if the devil can get a prayer answered, why can't we? All right, that's the implication. And the scripture passages I'll read will be in King James Version, unless I specify a different translation. Um, but the scripture passage I'm going to use is coming from Matthew chapter 8, verses 28 through 32. And also you can read the same passage um, but in different accounts in Mark chapter 5 verses 1 through 14 and in Luke chapter 8 verses 26 through 33. All right, but anyway, beginning with verse 28 in Matthew chapter 8. And when he was come to the other side into the country of the Gergesenes, there met him two possessed with devils coming out of the tombs, exceeding fierce, so that no man might pass by that way. And Mark's account says gatherings. And um, so I'll just go ahead and say this real quick while we're, while we're on this particular verse. Um, this one in Matthew's account, he says Gergesenes. Um, Gergesa is a town in the district of Gadara. So that's why you have one writer saying Gergesenes and then Mark saying gatherings. Okay, just wanted to clarify that. It's same location. All right, verse 29, And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? And there was a good way off from them, a herd of many swine feeding. So the devils besought him, saying, If thou cast us out, suffer us to go away into the herd of swine. And he said unto them, Go. And when they were come out, they went into the herd of swine, and behold, the whole herd of swine ran violently down a steep place into the sea and perished in the waters. All right, I want to point out verse 31 where it says, So the devils besought him. Um, they besought Jesus. Now, this is pretty much what we consider a prayer of supplication. All right, um, so. To serve our subtitle, If Devils Can Get a Prayer Answered. All right. Now, let's look at that word besought. I looked it up in the dictionary, and it means to ask urgently and fervently. And the word fervently means passionate intensity. So, these devils, they knew that Jesus was going to cast them out because it went on to say, If thou cast us out, suffer or allow us to go away into the herd of swine. And Jesus gave the command and said, go. So just that simple but powerful two-letter word, go, gave them permission by Jesus to go into the swine. So now, three strategies to make prayers of supplication more effective on our behalf is what I believe the Lord laid on my heart to share with you. And in my closing, I'm going to share four brief scripture verses um, to kind of help us, you know, because a lot of times we pray and it seems like we don't get our prayers answered. So here's three strategies. I'm going to say them, give you the scripture references, then I'm going to read them, and then we're going to close out for the day. All right. Number one, we need to ask with a pure heart. Now I'm going to read James chapter four, verse three. Number two, delight yourself in God and seek his will and plans first. Psalm 37, verse four. And Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. And number 3, ask in faith. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Okay, so number 1, ask with a pure heart. James chapter 4, verse 3 says, 
ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lusts. So in other words, we ask for things selfishly or for selfish reasons and wrong motives of our hearts. So that's number one as to why we don't have our prayers a supplication answer or answered right away. Okay, then number two, I got two scripture verses for you. Psalm 37, 4 says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And Matthew 6, 33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So if we put God first, basically is what, we're, what, this is, what these two verses are saying. They go hand in hand. All right, so other words, once we put God first and we know his will for our lives, then our hearts automatically will be right with him. Unlike in the first passage where James said you ask amiss because you want to consume things upon your lusts. All right. So rather than want things for selfish reasons, if we put God first and we prioritize by putting him first, then our hearts are going to be right and we're going to ask for what's right rather than asking for something doesn't mean we can't enjoy anything all right saints um but we got to have our priorities in order and number three ask in faith hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 reads but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that comes to god must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so it goes back to delighting ourselves unto him and seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness. All right, saints. And listen, I know these things are easier said than done, but let's ask God to help us in these areas. All right. OK, uh, before I pray, I just want to also say that um, you can follow me on my Instagram link for other brief inspirational videos. I just felt led to just kind of branch out and expand a little bit. Um, but anyway, there'll be short videos on Instagram that won't be on my YouTube channel. And you can also watch for these on my Facebook pages as well. All right, just trying to expand and help get the gospel out. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you for this privilege and opportunity to share with the people. And I just pray that you will touch hearts and draw people to this channel, not for my glory, but for yours, Lord, and for the upbuilding of your kingdom. And just in case somebody's been touched somehow, some way by this message, I just pray right now that you will repeat after me sincerely. Say, Father God, I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I choose to turn from my wicked ways. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and that he died on the cross for the remission of my sins and he rose from the grave I accept and receive Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior right now in Jesus name amen well saints God bless you welcome to the kingdom of God and um, stay tuned um, for next week we'll do part two of this mini series overcoming the flesh and the demonic God bless